Dr. Casey Means, what does a glucose spike mean? A spike in the glucose on your continuous glucose monitor basically means that there's just suddenly a lot more glucose in your bloodstream. And the most common reason this would happen is because you ate something that contained a lot of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are broken down into glucose during digestion, and then they're transported into the bloodstream so that the cells can take up that glucose. And when there's an increase in glucose in the bloodstream, insulin is released from the pancreas. And that's the hormone that helps the cells take up that glucose from the bloodstream to use it or store it. So when you see that spike coming down on your continuous glucose monitor, it reflects insulin doing its job in lowering the circulating glucose or that your muscles are active and are actually taking up the glucose for use. And so what is it that exactly causes a glucose spike to happen? Well, the main things that are going to cause a glucose spike are eating foods that contain a lot of carbohydrates, um, especially if they're eaten in isolation. So what I mean by that is that you're eating a food that's primarily carbohydrates, but not a lot of fiber or fat or protein um, with it. That fiber, fat, and protein can change the absorption of the glucose and can sometimes cause the glucose spike to actually be lower than when that carbohydrate is eaten in isolation. And the foods that you know have really high carbohydrate loads um, are a lot of the things that you commonly find at the grocery store and that are very common in the American diet. So things like anything really with processed grains or refined sugars. So this could range from you know the full gamut, from breads, tortillas, pastries, donuts, crackers, cookies, juices, sodas, um, pretty much most desserts, pies, um, a lot of breakfast foods, things like pancakes, muffins, um, and then lots of hidden sugars and things like sauces and salad dressings and even processed meats. Um, so those are going to be some of the higher carbohydrate foods. But there's also a lot of unprocessed foods that also have carbohydrates, things like rice, some, some grains, um, certain fruits, and then starchy vegetables um, like potatoes. And then there's all these you know, non-food things that can cause a glucose spike. And the two main ones are um, exercising, especially high-intensity exercise, or a stressful event. So high-intensity exercise will um, signal to the liver through stress hormones that the body needs glucose for energy. We need glucose to fuel our muscles. And so these hormones tell the liver to release stored glucose and send it into the bloodstream for the muscles to use. And this is something you're usually only going to see if it's a quite high intensity workout that's really sort of signaling a stress signal to the body. And then in the case of stress, um, like psychological stress, again, the body is signaling through stress hormones to the liver to release glucose, in this case, to sort of help mobilize the body to respond to whatever stressor or, or threat you're perceiving. Um, an important thing to note is that those spikes related to exercise are very different than, than spikes related to stress or eating. In the case of exercise, you're releasing that glucose for your muscles to use. So you actually have this sink to take up that glucose. Um, it's usually less so the case when we're eating or, or stressing. We don't really have that acute increased need for glucose in the muscles. Um, and so that, that glucose is going to sort of sit around for longer and could potentially cause more of those downstream problems than if it's an exercise-induced spike. So bottom line, really shouldn't worry too much about exercise-induced spikes, and we really want to avoid the spikes um, caused by either food or stress. <laughs> 